What's up? What's up? What's up? Man, all the love been shown in the streams. We had some very interesting, interesting, excuse me, streams over the course of the last shoot, I'd say really week, really. We've had some live debates. We've discussed a lot of things with uh, some very interesting characters. Thank you guys for tuning in to that. And I'll even shout out to the guys that have appeared. I believe tomorrow we'll be debating again um, here on uh, live on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. I will get a link for you guys and we'll discuss all of that. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, keep watching the videos. Keep showing the love. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. But let's talk about this. This is a more serious topic. I've, I've, I've not really gone all the way in on it. Um, I've, I've talked about sort of fatherhood or more so black the emasculation, let's say this, of black men. I've talked about this. I did a long video about that. But this kind of goes into a different territory um, because, look, there's, there's, just, there's just an issue here, okay? Now, getting into it, this person says right here, I can't stand black folks that think that that think the nuclear family will advance the black community. Let that let that stuff go. This is something that has been adopted as well by some organizations known like as well, like Black Lives Matter. And this is this is where some of that stems from. Generally, it is women that are, are usually saying something like this. And it's a very dangerous when it comes to advancement position to adopt because it's not even in tune with reality. By nearly every single statistical metric, when you look at nuclear family households, um, households with both mother and father, two parents, do better than the ones that do not have that by i mean it doesn't matter pretty much every that's one of the greatest tools to fixing the issue of let's say more intergenerational poverty this is why i personally do not i don't have kids right not yet uh, me and lady ripper we do not have kids there's some a lot of things you see right now i'm very ambitious have a million different things that I want to do, a million different things that I want to 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 make sure that I'm taken care of before I bring uh, a young a young dude into the into the world, and that's something that I take serious, and I've always been mindful of. Um, my mother didn't have me until she was in her thirties, um, and. Uh, she did it the right way. Now, granted, her and my father did not work out, um, and they ended up splitting, but they were, of course, married, living in the household, and we had a decent life. And I actually, it's funny, well, it was for a while. I talk about how one of my more unique perspectives is that I came from a position of, when I was born into the world, a better general economic position, living in a suburb, uh, when I when I first came into it and then when they split, we talking going, you know, to a apartment, uh, me getting into a lot of different things that I probably not probably I should not have been into. Uh, man, my mother just she I didn't have that father figure. She just couldn't really, really tame me, if you will. Um, and that was very important. And the thing that I love, though, my mother never, never, ever tried to and granted I did get on the other side of this obviously she never ever tried to demonize men she never tried to make it seem like she had done something good by being a single parent and raising me like that was something to brag about which unfortunately that's the attitude that a lot of us um, have adopted um, with a single motherhood like look at me I'm single I, I, I'm raising this kid um uh, it's like it's something to brag about. And this isn't something that's necessarily exclusive to black folks. I just see it, of course, with black folks email there. But no, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where seriously, she never did that. She never did that. She always explained to me the importance because she was born into it. The importance of the nuclear family. 
Always, always. And she was like, look, make sure when you, I thought I did, she didn't. And she was like, but make sure when you go that route or you are going to bring someone into this world, make sure it's with someone that you, you can see yourself with um, in, the, in the long run because that's going to be uh, better off for the child. And she doesn't want, of course, me to put some uh, like a kid through what I had to go through in the event of being raised by a single parent and being a knucklehead, getting the gang banging and all this other silly stuff. So, yeah, man, this topic right here, the fact that there's so many individuals that say stuff like this. And, and, and if you are one of the black folks and you would happen to see this, do not listen to this woman. This is terrible advice um, to let it go. No, nuclear family is, is absolutely how communities can advance, advance black people in general can advance if they prioritize that. Most, I don't want to say most. Well, I mean, when you consider the amount of babies being born out of wedlock, actually, yes, you can say most black babies being born out of wedlock. You can say most. Now, it doesn't mean that you're doomed for failure or you're damned. It just means that you're at a significant disadvantage in comparison to those that do. That's just what this. That's what again, from an economic standpoint, from from an educational standpoint, it's just what it is. Well, other core, other core uh, uh, issues, mental, you're better off if you are living within or being raised within this sort of nuclear family household as opposed to if you're not. This is something that is very important. Now, again, it's not foolproof, but it's all statistical metrics point to better lives for that individual kid. Therefore, better lives for the upcoming generation. It's one of the easiest things that you can do. But unfortunately, a lot of people adopt it. And of course, you have women, um, some black women that unfortunately adopt this idea. And it's very, very dangerous. Someone did also say that she said this. OK, it seems like this is kind of a deviation from the original point. She says, uh, while it seems like I have to break this down more, I want black people to stop seeing the nuclear family as the only way for families to exist in order to raise children to be successful. Children do not have to be raised in a nuclear home to be a great human, to be great human beings. And again, it's not foolproof. Obviously, look at me. Um, I'm in a decent, very, very decent economic situation. Um, and I've been into, uh, I, you know, I, I, I love it. I love it, of course. But to act as if my situation is the norm is nonsense. It, 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 it's complete nonsense because it's not. It's just simply not. And no, yes, I, I'll agree with that latter point that you can be a great person without having being raised in it. It's just significantly less likely. That's just what it is. I don't know why these people are rally so much against the nuclear family. But it goes back to some points that I've mentioned before and the dangers of the welfare state. And welfare statism has incentivized this sort of behavior where they, well, of course they incentivize individuals to be rewarded for, let's say, popping out babies and, and certainly not having that two-parent household or something like that or valuing that sort of nuclear family. Of course they incentivize you by lacing you up anytime you get above that, certainly in an economic situation. Um, or you are in that situation, let's say you're not a single parent, you don't get access to that money. So they incentivize you to be in these very, these, these conditions that you generally would not strive, you should not strive for, but they incentivize you and they incentivize bad behavior or unfavorable be behavior. That's what the welfare state does. But it also speaks towards this sort of idea that it is other people's like responsibility to take care of other people's like, this is definitely mainstream progressive. They love this sort of idea. Uh, this whole it takes a village, right, type, type of thing where they feel like they have the right to your kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they actually do to your kids' education, uh, uh, to what your kids should deem as right. They think they have sort of right to that um, and that it should be funneled um, um, th through them. So children, I would argue, should be raised in a nu nuclear home, though 
it's not completely foolproof, and obviously they're going to be outliers, such as myself, uh, that do get in better, let's say, economic situations, um, educational situations, having not been raised up in in the the core sort of nuclear family uh, type of deal. But I look, there's a lot of things that we can go, a lot of angles that we can we can go at that. Um, but the black folks that do value this, um, I certainly appreciate them, and. I don't want folks to lose lose sight of how important that is. It's one of the most easier things that a current generation can do for the next generation is, man, value the nuclear family. That is something that is worth striving for. It's better for you. It's better for your partner. And it's certainly better for the kid. Um, and I'm not telling you to go get in these relationships with toxic people or anything like that. I'm just saying that's a part of it, right? The compatibility thing. That's a very... Um, th- that's a thing that you should prioritize, but to act as if that in itself, that nuclear family is something that is should be demonized or black folks need to let go. No, the, f- the fact that black folks moved away from it is the issue. Right. Uh, Thomas Sowell has obviously done a great, a great, you know, like sort of documentation uh, of how when you look at. Black folks, even pre big welfare statism and the economic mobility, right, um, and how they it was going one way, and these 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 parent these two parent households, and how they were all more more common, and then the welfare statism got introduced, and that essentially did what even they could not do with slavery of all things, and that is completely derail the the concept of, of of black folks valuing let's say the nuclear family they couldn't even do that they couldn't even do that then they couldn't break that up then they couldn't break that bond up then uh during the jim crow era they couldn't even do it then welfare statism has unfortunately derailed black families look man i would argue and it's not just because of organizations like black lives matter i would argue that these people are saying things that are diametrically opposed to the advancement of black people. And if you are a black person, one of the easiest things that you can do is look to and value and strive for said nuclear family. That's one way that you can help your next generation. Um, and you, it's again, it does, it's not foolproof. However, kids are generally better off if they're raised in that environment. And that's just what it is.